Good morning, Arthur. Morning. Howdy, everyone. Luke Dog here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Morning, dear. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Okay, I'm gonna go check audio. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. You can use the meat for food and the skins to craft satchels. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. We'll be back on our feet soon. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. Speaking of which, what do we got? Uncle Reverend Swanson. Oh, so we were way up here. We came on down through Grizzly's West. Down here. Well, you know what? Since Uncle's nearby, why don't we check in with him? First, though, it looks like we got a few exclamations. I cannot read that. Susan... Something. Mr. Strauss. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Well, I'm going to chop some wood. <laughs> That's like good wood chopping in the morning. Plus, I think this might raise my dead eye, so...
Firewood's ready. Don't think I have anything to donate. Nope. You'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. What's that supposed to mean? What is that even supposed to mean? I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a little tired, I think. That's a strange thing to say. Ooh, I could play dominoes. Oh, no, I won't be taking my eye off you this time. I'm watching you like a hawk, Matthews. What are you in? In a draw game, the aim at the game is to be the first player to put down all your dominoes. 28 unique tiles and domino set. Each player begins with seven, drawn at random. A uh, block game uh, follows the same rules as a draw, but there is no boneyard, so players cannot draw new tiles. And in all three, points can be earned at the end of each turn by totaling the number of pips at each open end of the chain. If this edge value is a multiple of three, then the player scores that number of points. In this example, the edge is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15, so the person who last played scores 15 points. The next turn, the player can play any tile which has a 5, 4, or 3. Point scoring move in all threes would be to play 3-3 three, three on the right, bringing the edge to go to... Hmm. Double tiles can also are always placed at right angles to the other tiles. In all threes or all fives, the first double of the player is called spinner. Once tiles have been played on either side... As the round of dominoes goes on, a canny player will be able to guess their opponent's hands by surveying the tiles already played and noting when other players have to draw or pass. This allows for strategic moves to block other players. I am a man of honor. You're a con man. Pretty hard to cheat at dominoes. You can cheat at anything. Well, that might be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Ain't this fun? Let's see whose luck is in. No, I'll have to pass. Sure. All Not done. Bad. Not bad done. at all. Yay! You can have this for what it's worth. Fourteen bonus points are awarded to the winner. Bessie and I would play this for hours back in the day. I remember. I think she might have even taught me to play. You know, you might be right. A lifetime ago. Sure feels like it. Highest double of tiling goes first. Doubles take priority over... Okay.
Pass. Pass. Yep. Yay. <laughs> Drat. I think I'm just Guess lucky. This is for you. Darn. Pass me. Nothing for me. All right. Not much for you here. Just keep going. Come on. Sixes. Okay. Nothing for me. If you say so. There you go. Mm. Domino. Well played. Yes. Woo. Dang, here you go. Probably one more round, it looks like. Wild West, where you get to play dominoes. Any sixes? All right, down. <coughs> nah. Dang it. Pass. There we go. Here. You're welcome. Okay. Ah, oh, it's just too bad. Good game, Hosea. Oh, what's the question mark? Why don't you stay, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? <laughs> I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? <sighs> I 
The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. It's their rules to be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... realistic about what's coming. Keep thinking I should help. Ah. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Hey, Abigail. You damn fool, Arthur Morgan. You'll catch your death. Well, put some warm clothes on. What are you talking about? You seem in a good mood. I guess. Well, I won't go spoiling it. Sure. Let's go see what Uncle wants. Ow! 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 Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Off we go. Ladies, sing us a song. <laughs> I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more. But there's a blue horse laying outside her door. I had a girl in Valentine. Likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue and go right here. Two it's quicker. Towels, cracking her pants, pay for it. She's got a thing. It's my Peter like a diamond ring. I 
Look at that Koji. He's all over the place. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Come on, Arthur. Whoa, whoa, easy. Shire. Easy. It's okay. Go. Shh, girl. This way. Come on. Check to make sure the train's not coming. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> 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 oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Near the stables. What's the meaning of this? All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. 
Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Got the salmon. <coughs> so, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Ooh, pear. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Yeah, just a sec. Still walking. All the best, fellers. Where's the catalog? That to do for now. Decent stock. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to Saint Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, 
There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been... Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Almost forgot which one was the holster. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Hey, Jack from Rooster Teeth. Keep accidentally clicking the stick. No trouble now, please! Wrong one. Think you two could scam me? I forgot how to fight. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. It's right bumper, whatever to attack. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give more. Hey, that's my horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Excuse me, chickens. You stop right here!
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much. All right, come on. Up you go. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Sure is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Wild carrot. Go back, dude. There was another one. There's two of them. Wait. Hang a left. Stars left. Hey, there's three of them. More of a wild carrot. Yeah. Get you all stocked up, yo. Let's go, girl. Yeah. It's a health herb. It can be eaten to refill your health core or crafted into horse items. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Hello there, mister. We're going. Watch it now. Don't you have a horse? Yeah, I got a horse. Welcome. In the mood for a show? Take it for one, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. Folks, I'm going to tell you a morality tale from when our country was young. But the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, 
I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. <laughs> snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Interesting. Palmer, Stars of the Stage. You found a cigarette card. Some hobbyists consider these cards to be valuable collector's items. Keep an eye out. So long. can be even more better. Came salmon. There we go. 